to the section on violence, conflict, and mobility in the 21st century, or why violence? What is violence? It's the use of force to harm someone or something. One of the things that you probably have figured out by now is that violence and what constitutes violence is also influenced by culture. For example, someone may agree that pushing a person's hand into a pot of boiling water is violent, but they may not feel the way, the same way about putting a lobster into that pot of boiling water or even a handful of spinach. What is violent isn't always easy to determine. Intention is important to determining violence. Did the perpetrator mean to? Did they mean to put that person's hand in the pot of water? Or were they rational when that happened? Oftentimes in the United States, you will hear the conversation and discussion about a person pleading in temporary insanity when they perpetrate an act of violence. Or unfortunately, in the case of mass shootings, where often now the discussion is whether or not that person had some type of mental disorder. We start talking about legitimacy. There are some acts that take place in society that um, are seen as being legitimate, having a legitimate reason for the violence that entails. For example, in boxing. These boxers beating on one another, but the idea is that it's a sport and that the people that are involved choose to enter the ring and to box and beat on one another. But if one of those individuals or someone else were to beat a spouse or a partner or a family member or relative, then how that's looked upon is going to be quite different and it being considered legitimate is likely not to be the case. As I mentioned that violence and culture and determining what is violent is influenced by culture. One thing that we know is that neither violence or nonviolence is inevitable and that violence isn't chaotic or arbitrary but it follows cultural patterns, rules, and ethical codes. Culture influences how we think about violence, why we consider something to be violent, and when we consider the use of violence as a source or solution or a display of power over others. But thing, one thing we do know is that there are no genes for dominance, aggression, or passivity, although some anthropologists have claimed this to be the case, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But nonviolence is not in inevitable, nor is violence. It depends upon the situation, and it's very heavily shaped and influenced by culture. If you've been around cultural anthropology to any degree, you probably have become familiar with the Yanomami, people who have been uh, studied and made famous by the work of Napoleon Chagnon back in the 1960s. The Yanomami are a group that live in southern Venezuela, and Chagnon tagged them as the fierce people because he said that they were aggressive in everything that they do. But after that time, as other anthropologists studied them, they disagreed with the term or the characteristic of them being aggressive people. They saw them in other ways and the Yanomami themselves had issue with being portrayed in this way. And they maintained that their behavior was a result of contact with foreigners missionaries, 
and prospectors and even anthropologists whom they saw as disrupting their way of life. In particularly, in particular, Shagnon was a person that they cited as ultimately disrupting a lot of things and leading to some of their aggression and some of their behavior. Robert Denon studied the Samai in Malaysia, and he characterized them as peaceful people. They do, in fact, value not causing trouble for others. They see that as unacceptable. However, they're not completely nonviolent people. They have, in various causes and wars and other battles, served as soldiers and even became famous for their leadership and for their fierceness in those cases. So again, the idea that no culture is inherently violent nor inherently nonviolent, but there are many factors that go into determining how particular groups of people behave in ways that are violent or in ways that are nonviolent. 